I put a poll up. You guys took to Twitter, and we chose Guardians Rising and Burning Shadows today for our 1,000 subscriber opening. And guys, I am so excited. Have not opened a box of Burning Shadows yet, so let's jump into this here. But before we do, I wanted to let you know I'm a little sick, so I won't be doing as much talking as usual, or I'll just be talking with a softer voice. And here is my tea to prove it with my awesome cup. And we also have mail which I really, really want to show you guys. I showed some people on Twitter here, but this is from a dealer on Twitter called Merlin279, uh, Merlin and I got this card at a steal of a deal. Couldn't believe it was still up there. No one had bid on it, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I need something for PSA grading. And I managed to leave with this gorgeous beauty here and this is a dark charge art from the team rocket set and it's in absolute perfect condition nothing wrong with it i'm thinking it's going to be a 10 that's going to be it for a later video after the break uh that we're going to have here at the end of this special so i'm going to let you know i'm going to keep you guys posted whether it's on twitter or youtube it's going to happen but i just wanted to show you guys this because i thought this was so awesome in fact you know no let's not put it in the back here because quite frankly i don't want to see it fall through the through the the crack of death so i'm going to leave it in here and we're going to leave it right here, face down, for reasons. He also threw in some other cards, I'm pretty sure, so the card wouldn't move while it was being delivered. Um, and that is a Shantru and a Rhyhorn. So, we're going to move on now, and we're going to open these two bad boys. I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me get to this point. None of this would be possible without you guys, and I really hope you guys do understand that. And I'm taking this break from the channel because I do care about you guys. I want you to see the best possible quality content you can when you come to my channel. So, let's just get into this without any further ado. Let's go with Guardians Rising first. You guys chose them. We're going to open them. Guardians Rising first, and you guys have seen this open a million times. So, we're going to skip the back four cards here and just kind of just open, just make this as quick as possible. We have over 70 packs here so I'm, I'm eh, don't want to take too much time opening these bad boys but let's see here haven't opened Gar a Guardians Rising booster in a long long time let's hope for the double uh, for the DCE guys let's hope for the DCE because I still have not pulled that yet but let's do this like and rock Pat first we're beginning the thousand sub opening I still can't believe we got here so fast guys this is so crazy you guys are really the the blood of this channel here and you oh man I really still can't thank you enough one two three four we have a Fletchling, a Petalil, Beldum, a Lolan Vulpix, Slowpoke, Weepin' Bell Reverse, and a Lilligant, non-hollow rare. As we move on to Tapu Chicken. Not gonna steal anything from the Pokemon Evolutionaries here because the chicken is with them. The chicken most likely will not be with me today, but that is okay, I've accepted that as fact. And I need to figure out a way to organize these cards. You know what, we're just gonna go with that. There we go. That's gonna be the way it happens. Mudbray. We have an Alolan Sandshrew, a Cottony, Bellsprout, Gligar, Chansey Reverse, and that is not a rare, and a Sandslash, non-hollow rare, a Alolan Sandslash, non-hollow rare. Give me one second here, guys. I'm about to organize all this stuff and things, and here we go. And because there are over 70 packs here, guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm not really going to worry about too much organization. I'm just going to try to keep this as clean as possible, so this doesn't, I don't have to clean up too much after this is all over. Alrighty, one, and then we pull this out, and one, two, three, four. Eh, okay, this is going to be uncomfortable. I've never done this many packs before in my life, so just bear with me. Tentacool, Clefairy, Litwick, Glagar, Vanillite, Victory Bell Reverse, which is a rare, we'll put you in your own little pile here, and an Orcorio non-hollow rare. As you move on to Como. o Hello, sir. How are you? Anything good? I hope so. I could use it. I could use the confidence boost. One, two, three, four. Down here. Ooh. Man, trying to keep cards organized is like... I, I don't really know what to compare it to. Anyway, Vanillite. Keep putting them face up. Rockruff, Barbroach, Alolan Geodude, Tentacle Reverse, and a Chandelure Hollow Rare. And since there are so many packs to open, I'm just going to put them in a little pile. Off to the side here. And guys, if you do head down to the comments section, well, be sure to let me know of your favorite moment on the channel. I have quite a few, and I will link an iCard to one of my favorite videos right about now. And I think that's going to actually be the 500 sub special. I had so much fun filming that. It was, oh my goodness, one of the craziest openings I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone pull those. Let's just say the cards I pulled were absolute insanity. And when I say absolute insanity, I mean it. If anyone, <laughs> if anyone down there remembers anything about that opening... Help me out. Help me out in the comment section below. Vouch for me. Vouch for me, please, because 
That doesn't really happen very often. It was cool. It was really cool. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is actually a lot nicer. Things are going so much faster. But guys, yeah, when we get back to the channel, the content's going to be very, very different. Um, not in a bad way, not in a sense that you won't be able to recognize who I am or my voice or anything like that. But we're going to switch it up a bit. We're, we're going to switch it up a bit. We're going to make it a little more funny, a little more entertaining. And I think, in my opinion, much more watchable. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I really just can't wait to get down to that with you guys. Oh, man, I am excited. And this box is not very, has not been very nice to us so far. Oof. I'm predicting... I'm predicting a Como O Hyper Rare. That's what I'm predicting as like the best card in this box here. And that's completely fine as long as I get to spend some time with you guys. Or a Corio and a Mud's Tail. Wow. Hollow Rare. I mean, okay, sure, but we have seen nothing yet, guys. We are a few packs deep right now, man. Guardians Rising. You're failing me, bub. You're failing me. Fletchling. Litwick, Gothita, Pancham, Alolan Vulpix, Beware Reverse, and that's not a rare, and a Vanillix, non-hollow non rare. What is going on with this box? Not the happiest of days for these boxes. Eh, you know, you guys probably saw it. Take this code card here. Let me know what you get down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed that giveaway that we did yesterday or the day before, whenever I'm recording this in term... In <laughs> depending on when I'm recording this after we have that giveaway. Dabbing with Chop. Chansey. Snow Runt, Pancham, Bellsprout, Bellsprout Reverse, and a Garbodor, non-hollow rare. But yes, that was a very large giveaway, and I'm very glad we did it because you guys absolutely deserve it. And we're gonna do more stuff like that too. Um, we're going to, we're actually, that's actually gonna be kind of my preferred method. As even though I haven't posted the video yet, as I'm opening this, I know that it's probably gonna be my favorite method of giving away these things because it's it's tough to deal with code card thieves, man. You put this stuff up, you spend money on code cards and people just come and take them, don't even thank you for them. I mean, I know it's not, oh, you're not gonna pull something amazing every single time, but the fact is, man, like, I didn't have to go and spend that money for you. I didn't spend money so I didn't even, I didn't, so I didn't even know that, you know, that those cards were in that little code card thing there. Like, I wanna know what happens. I wanna know what, what came out of that code card. But there are some awesome people out there who are, in fact, letting me know. So thank you guys. You guys are true pocket monsters. Tentacool, Clefairy, Barbroach, Carvanaugh, Victina Reverse, and a Drompa Hollow. Wow, guys. Is this is is this the worst Guardians Rising booster box ever? Did we have to get that for this channel this time? What in the world is going on here? One, two, three, four. Okay, well, I mean, I hope this kind of picks up eventually, or at least Burning Shadows is decent. Machop, Helioptile, Murkrow, Alolan Sandshrew, Lampent, Salazzle, and that, okay. Wow. Um, I'm sorry that you guys are going through this right now, because uh, I'm having a hard time with it too. This, I mean, the, the pool that's in this better be just absolutely freaking amazing. Nothing? Nothing. Really nothing? Murkrow, Salandit, Rockruff, Delibird. At this point, I'm expecting it. <laughs> all right. All right. It just made up for it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Did not have a field blower. This is going directly in the collection. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Haven't finished Guardians Rising yet, so that's a great thing to have. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And it better not be over because um, I didn't buy a booster box for just one and <laughs> anyway oop, let's get that out of here because we can't be giving away codes anymore not that many anyway one two three four <laughs> eh, eh, stack me you know what when i do get back there's gonna be actual stack maintenance on this channel too dabbing my chop again whalmer stuffle phantom helioptile lilligant and a pangoro non hollow rare field blower though cool did not have that before happy to have that now one, two, three, four. Oh, boy, sorting this is going to be a freaking mess later. Ugh. Hello, Geodude. Sound system is turned off. Please turn back on. Thank you, sound. Petalil, Beldum, Alolan Vulpix, Delibird, Reverse, and all his presents. And Oricorio, non hollow rare. As we move on to the next pack with Como O on the front, please, brother, bring us some more luck. We could use it. For this box has been kind of okay, but it, it just recently it started to become okay. Anyway, 
a lowland sand shrew. We have a cottony, a bell sprout, a gligar, a patrat, a pseudowoodo reverse, and a haunch crow, non hollow rare. Almost done with one side of the box and one ultra rare to show for it, guys. I don't know. One, two, three, four. So far, my confidence is not being boosted, but there's plenty of time because there's a whole half of the box left. And then we got another box. So, you know, there's always that. Jangmo, Wimpod, Cottony Reverse, and a Toxapex GX. The regular one, but hey, we got an extra GX, and that never hurt anybody. Would have preferred Miss Lele, but hey, beggars can't be choosers at this point. There we go. Put you back there. We'll get a better view of all this stuff later, guys. Especially when this first box is out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah, you might as well have seen it anyway. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. And we have a wishy washy. A vanillite. Clefairy. Rock rough. Bar brooch. Garbador Reverse, and a Mimikyu, and I normally don't put up the hollow rares, but it's going up because it's Mimikyu, and Mimikyu's a boss. But so far, Toxapex, GX, and Field Blower. So not terrible, but not great for one side of an entire box. We're hoping that the next side is going to be a little bit better to balance that out. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, in a green code before, like, a, I opened a Steam Siege pack once, and I pulled a Gardevoir Secret Rare. I don't remember what video that was from, but it did happen. So maybe something like that will happen today. Maybe it's just off balance because it's just waiting to give me the goods later. It. All right, one, two, three, four. And ooh. no spoiler for you. Nose pass. Talo, Rockruff, Gumi, Slowpoke, Petalil, and Lunala non hollow rare. Also, guys, I would like to know this. When you're watching this kind of content, do you prefer that it be sped up when someone's not talking? Or do you prefer when it's just just naturally progressing like this? I mean I don't I don't mind either way, but I just want to hear what you guys have to say. I would love to love to be able to work with something before I come back again. Hey, field blow reverse and a Sharpedo, non hollow rare. Yeah, anyway, I'd love to be able to work with something when I get back just so I know that, hey, you know, maybe these people don't like fast-forwarding. Maybe these people do. I'm, You know, I'm, I'm a fan of either one as long as the packs are being opened and as long as I can hear some reaction from somebody, I'm okay with it. One, two, three, four. One and two. This is why I enjoy my GX cycle video. On top of me never, probably never being able to do that again, uh, the GX cycle video is one of my favorites for that reason. And I'll, you know, I'll just link it in an iCard up right up here. Pancham, Alolan Vulpix, Chansey, Chandelure Reverse, which is a rare, and a Victini, hollow rare. So we're going to put you off to the side here next to everybody else, and the reverse right there. Come on, Alolan Vulpix. Oh my goodness. Come on, Alolan Ninetales, please. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I keep doing that. I have no freaking idea why. But as far as, you know what, probably because anytime I think of a Alolan Vulpix, I think of just merging the two words and calling her a Lulpix, because I just think that would make a lot of sense. Uh, but <laughs> that's, pr that's probably just my brain. That's, uh, that's probably just my brain. If it sounds good to you, leave a like or let me know down in the comment section below. And one, two, three, four. All right, there we go. And we have a Deli Bird. We have a Nose Pass. A Cast Form. A Phantom. A Talo. A Trevenant. And Oricorio, and that is it for the pack. On to the next pack with Lycanroc on the front, please. Something decent, only two awesome pulls. What is going on? What in the world is going on with this box? This is bad. I mean, ugh, man, the shipping was bad on this, and the box is just bad. Is there something going on? I've never seen, I have never, ever seen a Guardians Rising box this bad. If you guys have, let me know down in the comments section below. I love to hear about it because I, I've just, I've never seen anything like this. I have honestly never seen anything like this. Wow. This is a really, really bad box. A Gligar, a an Alolan Geodude, a Patrat, a Litwick, Pancham, Carvanar Reverse, and a Wishy Washy GX Full Art. So at least another Full Art, but ugh, it's a Wishy Washy. I'd, okay, well, you know, bad shipping, 
on top of bad pulls, not really, not really, uh, making this any better. So, you know, won't mention the, won't mention the distributor, but wow, you guys really set the tone for this one, didn't you? I mean, at least let's, let's pull five GXs, something. I don't know. I mean, so far we've been pulling all hollows for our white coats. This is bad. A Patrat, a Snow Runt, a Murkrow, Salandit, Rockruff, Gliscor Reverse, and a Delmise. Hollow Rare. Oh boy. Okay. We're getting all the Hollow Rares. All the Hollow Rares. Okay. One, two, three, four. Whalmer, Stuffle, Phantom, Helioptile, Beldum, Comfrey Reverse, and that's a rare. And a Whale Lord, non hollow rare. As we move on to the last however many, seven packs, six packs? Oh yeah, 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 guys. I really am sorry. I hope I hope this I hope this gets a whole lot better for you and me, because this is starting to hurt my feelers a little bit, man. It's starting to hurt my feelers a little bit. Tentacool, Stuffle, Alolan Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gothitelle Reverse, and <laughs> hey, alright, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Okay. A Vicavolt GX Hyper Rare. Now, there we go. There we go. That's a full art I was looking for. Actually, you know, I may actually have this already, but I don't even care. It's a Hyper Rare. That is awesome. That is... Go over wishy-washy there. Let's flip. Oh, I'm going to sip my tea. Pulling a Kermit the Frog here. As I mentioned before, guys, I am a little bit under the weather, and I am so sorry about that. Um, a reason why I haven't been able to actually, like, do a lot of... Not lately, but as far as like in the last few days, it's why I haven't been able to upload the giveaway and this episode here. I really am sorry, but we're getting to it now. Mudbray, Alolan Sands, uh, Shan, uh, Sand Shrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gligar, Aether Paradise, Conservation Area, Reverse, and a Wish Cash. Non hollow rare. Why'd I put it down there? I have no idea. Here we go. And, oh, Deli Bird, right on the front there. Ready to greet us. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, this is making it go by so much faster. I'm actually really enjoying this style of opening. From now on, guys, if you want to see me open like this, just let me know. I would absolutely love to do this. This makes things go by so much faster. It's nice. Dab him a chop! Phantom Reverse and a Turtonator non hollow rare. Como on the front. And let's hope for one more GX. Maybe that's that's really all reasonably we can we can hope for at the moment. But Let's not get too greedy here, because four pulls, man, I don't, oof, I don't know. Gothita, Chansey, Petalil, Helioptile, Patrat, Oracorio. You know what? The rares are just going to go there. Forget. That's going to happen. That is now a thing. That is now a thing. I have made it a thing. One, two, three, four. Ah, no, right. That's, that's why I'm doing it like this. Okay, we have a Chansey, Petalil. Trubbish, Machop, Alolan Geodude, Politoed, and a Rayquaza. non hollow rare. Oh, let's hope Burning Shadows does way better than this. Way better than this. One, two, three, four. Ooh, the backs are just messed up, man. Wow. Anyway, Taylo, Rockruff, Gumi, Slowpoke, Mudbray. Glalie Reverse, and a Drompa GX, which, is this getting, is this still playable, guys? Is this still a thing? Is there still a hype around Drompa? Is there? TCG homies, let me know. Please let me know. I don't know if Drompa GX is still a thing. As we move on to the last two packs of our Guardians Rising booster box here, and we're gonna hope for the awesomeness. Hmm, a little miscut, but we'll see what we get here. Carvanaugh! Barbroach, Phantump, Machop, Fletchling, Vanillite, and Alolan Ninetales GX. All right, this box came back. This box came back in the clutch. Could have come a little bit sooner, but it came back some way, somehow. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I got to constantly turn over to make sure that my sound is not, you know, not recording. Um, that's weird that I have to do that, but hey, what are you going to, what are you going to do? Apparently, computers aren't smart enough to determine that I need it on while this is all happening. Anyway. Alright, let's just get this done here. Fletchling. Litwick. Gothita. Pancham. Vulpix. Oricorio. 
and a Gudra Hollow Rare. So that is the end of this booster box, guys. Let me know what you thought of this here Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster box. I was okay with it, especially towards the end, but this is pretty much what we got. Let's do a little recap of all the awesome shininess that we did, in fact, pull in order. We got the Alolan Vulpix. We have the Drompa GX. The Vigavolt Hyper Rare. We have the Wishy Washy Full Art. The Mimikyu, because Mimikyu, why the heck not? And we have a Toxapex GX, followed by a Field Blower, which was the first most awesome pull in the set. So, let's see. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't even smart enough to count this out. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Where's Nine Tails? Oh, no, I got Nine Tails. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, not the worst box ever. Not the worst. I've, I, you know what? You know what? I've heard of worse. I've heard of worse. Much worse, actually. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to put you all in the back. Actually, we'll recap all the things after the video is done here. So, do not fret, people. Do not fret. Otherwise, let's get this all cleaned up. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. And if you guys have any predictions for the Burning Shadow Box, let me know. I would love to hear these and then go over your comments later to see if you actually corrected yourself or just got it right. Because that would be awesome. Gold star if you got it right from the beginning. And let's let's open this poorly packaged Sun and Moon box here. Because, you know, reasons. Not like you pay a premium for shipping. Anyway. Anyway. Let's do this. We have... 36 packs of Burning Shadows, which I have, this will be the most Burning Shadows I have opened since it came out. I am so excited, and yeah, let's see what we're hoping for. I'm hoping, as far as art goes, I'm hoping for a Noivern, but, you know, Charizard's always in the back of your mind, because, you know, Charizard reasons. Yeah, let's go with the first few packs as far as, you know, just opening normally. One, two, three, four, one, and two. Because I do love the artwork in this set. It is absolutely beautiful. Charmander, the saddest story on the planet. Meryl, that's kind of cool, Beanbag Meryl. Pans, ugh. Esper, Pikachu, which is one of my favorite arts in this set. Look at, I mean, look at that. How old, how much more old school can you get? Especially in the newest set out. Super Scoop Up, which I, is an old card, right? That's an old card that used to be playable. Guzma, Whirlipede, Saviper Reverse, and a Heracross. Look at that, looks, you know, that looks almost straight from Neo if it weren't for the fact that there's a Skullgrunt person in the back. Or Skull Grunt, uh, <laughs> Team Skull Grunt in the back. There we go. Ho-Oh Pack. Let's do this. And we go one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, that's right. Fighting Energy. Whirlipede. Simisage. Weakness Policy. Ralts. Crabrawler. Sneasel. Venipede. Horsey. Look, that art is amazing. Okay. And a Porygon Z. Nice. Oh, sorry. Wiki. Or Wik. Wik. Wik uh, however it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't care. That's that's not that's not a thing that I'm... That's not one of my priorities to figure out. And <laughs> anyway, we'll save that. We'll save the pronunciation for later. All right. And we're going to go with our original style here. Or rather, at the beginning of this video. Cutie Fly. Panseer. Magikarp. Alolan Rattata. Ledian. That is, look, look at that art, guys. That's awesome. And this depressing scene from the first season of Pokemon. Oh, but what is going, I mean, you're, I know I know they're trying to hit at our uh, hit at our nostalgia strings, but, eh, I don't know. Could be less sadder scenes, I guess. I, I don't know if that makes for better art, necessarily. And one, two, three, four. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to make this go a whole lot faster because I don't know how much time's left on my SD card. So, Panpour, Caterpie, Porygon. Suck. Oddish. Rhyperior Reverse. That's a rare. I'll put you off here. And a Mudsdale. Non-hollow rare. Put you in the normal pile. Marshadow on the cover art. Ugh, come on. Really? That one corner? Here we go. Still not... Still have not experienced the... Anything more than a GX pull in this set. I, I've opened a little bit off camera, but that's that's really it. Sandagast. Hoot Hoot. Tangela. Dupider, Inke, Metapod Reverse, and a Beware, non hollow rare. As you move on to another Ho Oh pack, in which I'm hoping that this box does not give me a heart attack like the last one did, because that last box kind of messed me up a little bit. I was not happy about that until the end. Here we go Meowth, Stuffle, Pansage, Krogunk, Pikachu, Electrike, 
or electric rather and toxic croak on hollow rare Ugh, waiting for this plane to go by but you know what we're gonna tough it out we're gonna we're gonna tough it through the plane tough it tough it out through the plane to the pain we, we, we you know what the, the the plane's a pain anyway so we're just gonna yeah do the pain do the pain all right let's see what we get here crow gunk panseer magikarp mudbray alolan rattata cutie fly reverse and a diancy hollow rare so we continue our streak of hollows but there are is there no gx's in this box too is that a thing are we just following a certain trend i this is getting to be brutal guys we haven't seen anything burning shadows you're not giving me very good signs dabbing duskull everybody's dabbing in all the sets more low caterpie merrill rhyhorn Electivire Reverse and an Alolan Raichu non-hollow rare. And the Electivire was in fact a rare. So that's a reverse hollow. Cool. Alright, Ralts. Come on, buddy. Bring us some luck. Just bring us your evolve form in this opening. Something. Anything really. We have a Ralts. We have an Alolan Grammar. Sneasel. Charmander, the most depressing story ever. Crab Brawler, Ladybug, Turtonator, and that is it. A couple Turtonators printed since Sun and Moon came out, huh? So anyway, guys, my homies who play the TCG out there, what do you what are you guys currently using? What's the main what's the main squeeze right now? What's everyone using for their decks? I'm hearing Gardevoir is a thing, but I'm not 100 percent sure as I don't play. But let's see what Alolan Volpix, Wimpod, Togedemaru. Soul Rock Reverse and <laughs> hey, all right, Dark Rye Full Art. Beautiful way to start this. This is my first full art I've ever pulled in this set. What a way to do that! Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a beautiful look at the artwork on that, guys. Oh man, so happy to own this thing. That is sweet. All right, let's put let's do you here so we can see all the burning shadows goodness. And let's hope this streak continues, y'all. Let's do this. Dark Rye Hyper Rare, perhaps? Maybe? That'd be fantastic. That'd be fantabulistic. That'd be a bunch of other words I haven't made up yet. Here we go. Noibat. Stuffle. Mudbray. Tynamo. Oddish. Bodybuilding Dumbbells. And a Meow Stick. Non-Hollow Rare. Ugh. I don't have much space to open here, guys, which is another reason why we're taking this break. I need to figure out exactly how I can get completely comfortable and open all at the same time because I'm having a hard time doing that. It's it's It hurts your back doing this kind of stuff. Talk to a lot of Poketubers, and their back hurts too. It's it's an actual thing. I don't know if there's an act actual correlation between Poketubing and back pain, but um, it, it helps, it, or it, rather it doesn't help. Hey, a Marshadow, which I have pulled before. That's the regular GX, but we're going to take it because we haven't seen much yet and we're almost done with half of the box. So hopefully that's a that's a sign of that's a sign of something, something positive. That's that's what we need right now. That's what we need right now. First box of burning shadows, don't let me down. 1 2 3 4 and here we go. Probably saving half the time not checking those other cards. Horsey, Cutie Fly, Lediba, Alolan Grimer. Wishful Baton and a Crab Bombable. That's a rare? Really? I didn't know that was a rare. Interesting. Interesting how that works nowadays. Okay. Oh, Porygon's art looks cool. Anyway. One, two, three, four. Ooh. One and two. Here we go. We have a Porygon. We have a Panpour. Pansage. Esper. Sock, Heracross Reverse, and it... Oh, man, these Gyarados. Look at the... Just look at the art on that, guys. Please look at that for a second. Tell me if that's not one of the coolest Gyarados you've ever seen in your life. I think that is one of the coolest artworks I've ever seen for that Pokemon. Ever. On a holo card. That is freaking sweet, man. That is freaking sweet. One, two, three, four. And if you're wondering when these code cards are going to be given away, guys, probably not for a while. May give them away later on the channel for like a really insignificant opening in which like I open a pack or something and then I give away like four code cards for no apparent reason because you guys are awesome. And you know, code card thieves shouldn't be getting code cards. Electros. Non-hollow rare. 
Delayed rating. Anyway, one, two, three, four. There we go. Dupider. Inke. Ralts. Crab Brawler. Sneasel. Gloom. And a Zoom Roll. That looks straight out of Neo. Look at that. It's old school looking. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. There we go. Why is this? That it's oh, it's always that one little corner, man. It's always that one little corner, dude. Always that one little corner. So annoying. So darn annoying. Here we go. Crow Gunk. Pikachu. Pansier. Charmander. Alolan Rattata. Rhyhorn. And Passimian. Non hollow rare. Alright. Pray for Charizard. Pray for Zard. Pray for Zard, please. Even though you guys are not here at the same time that I'm opening this, pray for Zard for me. Pray for the Zard. We need all the Zards. And that's a reverse rare. Cool. And Electivire. Non hollow rare. As Clutch goes and organizes his little stack here and when i say organize i mean just kind of use my fingers to rectangulate the pile and <laughs> make it somewhat even so it doesn't you know fall all over the opening here because who in the world needs that okay and do we have a miscut pack kind of a little bit we have a bit of a miscut pack but it's ho oh so let's hope the rainbow pokemon brings us some luck and also, guys, let me know if you enjoyed that little mail bit at the beginning. I, I always have a really hard time getting mail open, especially on one video. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, you guys like mail before a an actual opening, let me know down in the comment section below or just like this video. That'll be a good indicator. Vulpix Reverse and a Galissapod GX. I believe I have one of these too. So this Burning Shadows box isn't impressing me too much other than that gorgeous Darkrai. And I actually need to grab a Burning Shadows binder too because I don't have one of those. I have a Sun and Moon one. I have a Guardians Rising one. I do not have a Burning Shadows like theme binder, which I I, I do enjoy those. They're kind of uh, they're kind of gimmicky, but I like them. I like them. No complaints here. Dupider, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Pansage Reverse, and a Machamp GX. So this box is actually bringing some goods here now. We are at oh wow. We're at four GXs, and it just the other side of the box just started. Sweet. Okay. Not the greatest box so far from what I've seen open, but it gives me hope. And Pikachu's on the front, so it can't be too bad. One, two, three, four. One and two. Pikachu. Noibat. Oh, of course. This is what, uh-huh. This is exactly what I was hoping to avoid, but here we are. Again, Noibat. Dupider, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Curlier Reverse, and an Araquanid, non hollow rare. Next pack. Oh, my arms are killing me. This is not easy, guys. Oh, there we go. I found a perfect little perfect little spot here to rest my elbow. But it means I have to throw away packs like that. Okay, that'll work for now. No, oh, wait, I have to do Ah, you got me. You caught me. You caught me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Sacrifice comfort. We're doing it for the packs. We're doing it for the opening. Do it for the tubes. We're doing it for the tubes. That's what's going on. We're doing it for the YouTubes. Escape rope reverse and a Malamar. Non hollow rare as I shake my arm off. Here we go. And guys, if you're watching deep into this video right now, we actually will be having a co host when I do get back. Not going to tell you her name, not going to tell you who she is, but she's pretty awesome. And she's actually a director of the future episodes of the card shop tour that we're going to be using for that so when you do get back make sure you give her a nice warm welcome because she's absolutely a very important person in my life care about her very much and you guys are going to learn to love her too if you don't love her right off the bat oddish four alrighty we have an oddish we have a tr oh, depressing charmander Merrill Hacky Sack, Pansage, Six Points, Caterpie Reverse, and a Slow King, non hollow rare. Oh man, we're on the second we're on the second half of this box here, and I'm you know what? I'm starting to see a lack of hollows, so I'm thinking if we do pull another white coat, it probably will be a hollow next. Ah, 
Let's see if I'm right. Not to say that this is a white coat or not. Not going to spoil that for you. Hope I didn't make it too obvious when it wasn't. I got it. Anyway. That would be so great just to see a Zard just pop out of nowhere. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we get here. Sandy Gast, Vanipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Esper Reverse, and a Dusknar, non hollow or a hollow rare, which I said, I told you, I told you, we didn't have enough hollow rares yet, so I figured the next one would be. It's almost weird. I feel like there's a pattern to these boxes. Don't, no, no, Clutch didn't go and say, oh, and then you're mappable again. They didn't the Thun and Moon thing. No, I, I did not say that. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all right now. I'm just saying that there might be some sort of algorithm or something to these boxes. Not saying that they're mappable. Porygon, Sock, Simi Sage. And we move on with Charmander on the front. Why the heck would they print that in multiple set? I don't understand. Mm. Anyway, Charmander, Alolan Rattata. Audio is off again for some reason. Porygon. We have a Pan Pour. We have a Pan Sage. Riolu Reverse and an Alolan Raticate. Non hollow rare. As are we opening the worst Burning Shadows booster box right now? Four? I heard five was bad. I heard five was really bad, but I'm only at four right now. But there's plenty of box left, so maybe I'm just talking out of my <sighs> clutch hole. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Tangela, Tynamo, Crabrawler, Inkay. I know. What did you just hear, right? Porygon Reverse and a Lycan Rock. Hollow Rare. That we'll put onto the side here because when you, we're looking for the shiniest of cardboard, dude. The shiniest of cardboard. That is not the least shiny of cardboard, but it's definitely not the shiny cardboard I'm looking for. Togedemaru, Krogunk, Panseer, Magikarp, Mudbray, Slowking Reverse, and Alolan, uh, Alolan Tine Tails. Alolan Nine Tails. And look at the majesty in that beautiful card there. Wow, the artist really did work on that. That is that is really nice. Anyway, I feel like they're gonna make another GX of Alolan Nine Tails. Let me know if you think I'm right down in the comment section below. Also, if you have a Pokemon that you'd love to see made into a GX, let me know what that is, because I have a few. I actually have a video that will be coming out when I get back from my break of the of the ten cards that I think should be made into GXs after Burning Shadows. And a Vile Plume, Hollow Rare. Wow. So this box of Burning Shadows, man, if there's one more card to pull. It's got to be a full art or something secrety or something awesome. One, two, three, four. And we have a Porygon. We have a Meryl. We have a Hoot Hoot. Rhyhorn. Ralts. Ribombi. Mudsdale. Non hollow rare. Marshadow pack art here. One, two, three, four. A Lolan Grimer. Riolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Wimpod, Guzma, Reverse, and a Tangrowth. non hollow Rare. Whew, Burning Shadows, one full art, man. One f Man, this may or may not be the last time I grab a Burning Shadows booster box. This is, this is horrendous, dude. This, I'm not happy about this at all. This is really bad. <laughs> Riolu, Cutie Fly, Dewpider, Togedemaru. Wimpod, right on reverse, and a Salazzle GX, which is great. I think it's a beautiful card, but it... What? There are two packs left. I really hope there's a full art or a secret rare coming up next, because... My goodness. This is bad. <laughs> this is real. This is getting me nowhere in my collection. That's... that. Wow. Pokemon. Jeez. I mean, just bring... You know what? Bring back your algorithm, man. You guys are... You guys are, ugh, that's, that's bad. That's really bad. Oddish, Duskull, Dabbing, Esper, Morlull, Charmander, Oddish again, Ledian, non hollow rare. As we move on to our last pack of Burning Shadows, which I, guys, don't know how many more Burning Shadows booster boxes I'll be doing after this. This is, this is horrendous. This is actually one of the worst booster boxes I've ever opened. Four? Are you kidding me? Four. I mean, this better be something. This better be something amazing, or I just, I won't care. I'll just buy individual packs. I'm not really too worried about that. Horsey, Cutie Fly. Okay. We have a Ladybug. 
We have a Tornado Reverse and a... <laughs> All right, Burning Shadows. All right, you got me. You got me. Not what I wanted. I mean, as far as the card, yes, that's definitely what I wanted. As far as the pull rate, no, not what I wanted. Only five pulls altogether, but I think we did okay. I think we did fine, and I think that's a great way to end off this special. And I thank you guys so much for coming, really. Um, all this is possible because of you guys, and I don't know what the heck I'd do without you, man. I really don't. You guys are the th coolest thousand subscribers I've ever had the pleasure of talking to. And because the poll that we had on Twitter didn't exactly go the way maybe 34% of you wanted, we're opening up an Ancient Origins booster box also, and this is brought to you by Coastside Comics over at 116A Manor Drive, Pacifica, California, 94044. And these guys were generous enough to get me a great price on this Ancient Origins booster box here. So I thank you guys. As always, you guys are absolutely amazing. This is actually my Clutch P.O. box, so if you have any fan art to send while we're, uh, while we're going through our break here, if you have anything you just want to tell me through a letter, feel free to do so. Love to talk to you guys, and let's get... <clears throat> Every time I do that, I swear, a card falls down. Okay, um... You know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to dive into this Ancient Origins box, and I will cut away to a recap on everything as soon as we're done opening it. And I've never opened an Ancient Origins booster box either, so we should be having even more fun. And I guess the packaging was better because the, this does not seem to want to open at all. So good on you, Pokemon, back then. Good on you. Those pull rates, though, man. Burning Shadows. We're going to have to find a better way to pull some awesome Burning Shadows cards because this was just... Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? If you've seen a worse booster box, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that I that I was not very happy with the pull rates there. But we have Ancient Origins here. We're going to go on a Lugia hunt. Let's do the Lugia hunt now. Let's begin. Again, Coastside Comics. Mike, thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And you guys have seen Ancient Origins a million times before. There's also no code card trick either. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and we're going to proceed. So this is a complete, there's no spoilers in this ever. Unknown. Is that how unknown is usually spelled? Is it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Baltoy, Cottony, Entei Reverse Rare, and a Reggie Rock Non-Hollow Rare. As we move on to a Rayquaza pack. So I'm hoping for anything Primal, because Primal's awesome, and Primal and Shiny is even better. Or I'm hoping for a Lugia. That's really all a man needs. A Lugia full art, that's it. That's There's not really much after that. We have a Spinarak. A Beldum. Wooper. Golurk. Larvesta. Vespa Queen Reverse. And a Gyarados Hollow. Awesome. So I'm going to put you off to the side here. I'm going to have to do a lot of sorting. This is the last opening I'm going to be doing in a while, guys. So just bear with me here. Just bear with me here. There we go, and of course there is no spoilers because these packs all had the same code card, which I would have preferred now anyway. Larvesta, at least custom, like I would have liked to have seen custom code cards for these. They used to do that all the time for every other set. Entei Reverse, and a Volcarota, non-hollow rare. Ancient trait though, so that's kind of cool. The one card I don't want to pull, which don't get me wrong, I love the Pokemon itself. But a Tyranitar anything, I, I don't want to pull from this right now. I have too many Tyranitars. They even came out with a box. I'm just not I'm just not a fan at the moment of the card. I'm just I'm just not. Um, unknown Gumi Magikarp Eevee Reverse and a Registeel. Non-hollow rare. As we continue. I'm feeling I'm feeling magic from this pack. I'm thinking that something great's gonna happen right now. That's what I'm thinking anyway. If you disagree with me, well, you know, you can do that because that's, you you know, that that's okay. <laughs> Oddish, Malamar, Porygon, Golurk, Spinarak, Oddish Reverse, and, oh, Metagross, non-hollow rare ancient trait. So, nothing amazing, but maybe this one. This pack could be the amazing pack. We, we can only hope, people. We can only hope. One, two, three... Eevee Reverse, or Eevee Reverse, Eevee, Porygon, Baltoy, Malamar, Golette, Bell Awesome Reverse, and <laughs> of course, of course, why wouldn't I pull this? Why, why just, why wouldn't I pull this? Because that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, <laughs> Tyranitar, get out of here. Can't even catch you in Pokemon Go. Leave me alone. 
Yeah, because everyone wants to... Every, now in Pokemon Go, everyone wants to... Or, or Pokemon Go, sorry. Everyone wants to go for the legendary birds. And it's just like, guys, there's Charizards and, and, and raids and stuff. Just, can you can you give me a second? I'll pay for your raid pass. I don't care. Eevee, <laughs> Quagsire, Combi, Meowth. Yes, I still don't have a Charizard out of... Hey, a Hall of this, uh, Verizian. I still don't have a Charizard out on Pokemon Go yet. It makes me very, very sad. But I'll get it eventually. I'll get it eventually. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to throw all the pineapple berries at all the Charmander. And that's also a thing that can happen, too. But, you know, like, now that I know that there's raids and stuff like that, like, why why do I... You know, you take away from wanting to gain all the candies. Niantic just... Oh, God, they just didn't really... They didn't think any of this through before they made this game. See, my point was that if you put Pokemon... If you took a Pokemon sticker and you slapped it on a used toilet seat, but that sticker was from the actual Pokemon Center or just Pokemon HQ or whatever it's called that the price of that used toilet seat would go up like crazy and they didn't think the same exact thing when when making when making an app with the name of one of the most popular games that's ever existed I just I can't seem to <sighs> double Tyranitar Okay, all right. I said it, and of course, this this box isn't gonna let me go. So I am sorry about that, Tyranitar gods. I do love me some Tyranitar, and I'm very happy to have this full art because I didn't have it before. So hey, and when I did say Tyranitar, I meant Tyranitar EX, just regular EX. I didn't want it. I've had I have like three or four of them now. I just didn't want it. But full art, I can do. Plus, I grew up with Godzilla, man. I love me some Godzilla. Anyone excited for the new kaiju movies coming out? When I say kaiju, if you guys don't know what that means, or anyone who doesn't know what that means, it means gigantic monster in Japanese. Anyone excited for any of the kaiju movies coming out? Let me know who my, where my kaiju fans are. Love to hear about it. Love to talk about it down in the comments section below. Especially, especially after that ending in Kong Skull, uh, Kong Skull Island. Spoilers. That's the only spoiler you're going to get. I'm not really going to go into it much more. But just watch Kong Skull Island. If you don't like the actual movie, wait and just or fast forward to the end or wait until the end, whatever, and you'll have plenty of fun with what you see. I cannot wait for all that to go down. So I guess that is how you, how unknowns always been spelled, but still, like it just it just throws me off. It just throws me off. There we go. Porygon Z. Oh, <laughs> secret rare trainer's mail. Did not own this card before. So, oh my goodness, a full art and a secret rare on the first side of the box. What the heck? Oh man, this box is on fire. I am so happy I got to open this. Whew. All right, now all we need is a Lugia and we're done. I will be happy if the if the only thing we pull from this thing is a Lugia full art because I have yet to pull that card and that is my second favorite Pokemon of all time and that's got to be one of my top five favorite card arts because it's just so well done. So well done. And a Gyarados non-hollow rare. Or Hoopa. I do love that Hoopa full art too. That is beautiful. I don't own one of those either. I do not own one of those either. One, two, three... What card, what's your favorite card from Ancient Origins, guys? Let me know. And what card do you not own yet? Are you in the same boat as me? Have you not completed Ancient Origins? I have not. Verizian Reverse and a Porygon. Non-Hollow Rare. I have a feeling that Tyranitar is going to keep showing up. But with that Trainer's Mail, maybe that set the tone for something a little different. We can hope. We can hope. A man can dream, can he? A Poketuber can dream, can he? There we go. Quagsire. Magikarp, unknown, a lot of unknowns, Baltoy, Malamar, unknown reverse, speaking of, and Entei, which I wish they would have done a hollow for this one at least, something like that, but still a beautiful card, and I have it anyway, no big deal. Here we go. As far as the next set go, guys, goes, guys, in the next few sets, what would you guys like to see? Me, myself, I know I said I'm going to be making that list of GX cards that I'd like to see, or Pokemon that I'd like to see made into GX cards, but I need some legendary dogs, man. They did not focus enough on that in the EX era. Some Raikou, some Suicune, some Entei, something, man, something. And a Mega Ampharos. G e Sorry, I'm so used to saying GX. EX, which I think is the second one I have of these. Look at the detail on that. This is definitely one of the coolest ones. I'm not the biggest fan of the newer newer EXs, but stuff like this, like with the blue and the pink flying everywhere, like that is so neat. I find that to be amazing. 
Oh, there's too many back here. So we're just going to continue. But yeah, three boxes. Never opened three boxes of Pokemon cards. Never thought I would. Never thought I would. But you guys made that possible, which is the coolest thing ever. Because you guys are the most awesome things ever. And I am sorry if there's some sort of like sound something freaking out. Uh, as I'm editing this video, I really don't know what's going on with my computer, uh, Gudra Hollow, and I, that's, that's really my only explanation for that, um, sometimes sound doesn't pick up, and that's another reason why we're taking a break, because there's just some things around the, <laughs> yeah, sure, let's call it a studio, there's just some things around the studio that, uh, I really do need to fix up and make sure are completely up to par, because you guys only deserve the best quality, and I am, I'm trying to bring you no less, I'm trying to bring you no less, so when I do come back, it'll be different. Wow, two Vespaquins. That's pretty cool. Anyway, sorry about that. We had a bit of a bit of an issue with the computer there. Otherwise, we're back at it, and let's go. Oh, man, I got this gigantic pile of packs to my right right now. Just empty packs, just sitting there, staring me in the face like, you're going to have to clean us up later. And it's uh, a little unnerving, a little unnerving. Got the dog barking in another room. And I got piles of packs falling down on me as I'm opening this because, you know, three boxes... Was not prepared for this. Did not think of how to really counter the massive amount of cards. Hex Maniac Reverse and a Golurk. As we move on to the other side, the first side was absolutely incredible. So we're going to hope that this side is just as good, if not better. Maybe it can't be as good or better, but, it, you know, it could be close. Could be pretty close. We have a Cottony, Larvesta, Mia, Gumi, Beldum, Ralts. Bulk Corona. I just want to get this done with you. I'm sorry, guys. If I'm keeping you from anything you're doing today, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, we, this, I'm, I'm doing this. So, you know, you can... Please keep watching. Please keep watching. Porygon, Unknown, Beldum, Gumi, Special Energy. That's a Flash Energy. And a Jolteon Hollow. Neat. I'll be sure to sleeve up all the Hollows after this video, guys. But we're just trying to get this done as soon as possible because there are over oh there are a lot of packs okay i don't know why i looked at the back as if there were there was anything to be spoiled anyway <laughs> we have an unknown we have a ball toy a malamar a combi a golette a malamar reverse and a reggie rock non-hollow rare can we hope for another full art maybe that'd be kind of nice. oh wait a second what is that what is this you guys see that? That was kind of weird. Oh, no. I thought this was different. I thought it was different. It looked different for a second there. It looked different. One, two, three. Uh, I know this isn't last pack magic, but we need some magic right now. Malamar. Lots of Malamars. Combi. Quagsire. Meowth. Matang. Reverse. And Regice. And that's my dog protecting the house, even though there are people here. And he doesn't need to protect the house. He just feels the need to do so. So we're just going to let him do his thing. One, okay. One, two, three. One and two. I'm checking over to my right every once in a while just to make sure that my sound isn't freaking out on me, guys. Sorry about that. Don't mean to take away from the quality of this video here. Magikarp, Gudra Reverse, and a Volcarona Hollow, which I completely forgot was in the set. That's actually a really nice Hollow. Look at that. That's going to stand the test of time. People are going to see that in like five years and be like, huh. That's a really nice holo card. I think, anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I am I am pretty weird. I am pretty weird. So, anyway. Ball Toy Age Trait. Wooper. Ralts. Magikarp. Golet. Porygon Z Reverse. And a Metagross. Well, non holo rare. I almost said holo rare. Alright. Mega Ray Ray, maybe. I'll, I'll take another Mega Ray Ray. I will take another Mega Ray Ray. Go one two three. Relicanth. No, you're not hearing this delayed. It's just that's I, I count at weird times. Eevee, Vileplume, Reverse, and what in the world? Did... Oh, <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! What did what did I say? What did what did I say? Oh, that's going in for grading, son. That is going in for grading. Oh my god, yes! Omega Rayquaza EX4. Mm. Uh, called it! Who said? I'm the man! Just 
I had to play myself up a little, and that felt really good. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, a trainer's mail, secret rare, and a, and this box ain't even over yet. This is insanity. Oh, this is crazy. This is the be okay, good. This, you know what? This ancient orange, uh, ancient orange, a ancient origins box made up for that burning shadows box because we, that was rough. That was amazing. So glad I decided I decided to go with that. That's awesome. Could have gone with Roaring Skies, but you know what, man? I was like, you've never opened an Ancient Origins box, and you probably opened more Roaring Skies than Ancient Origins, even though you've never opened a Roaring Skies box either, which that'll come later in the channel. Spoilers. Not today. Not to no, This is it. This is, I'm not, uh-uh. No more money from, no, no, I'm not spending any more money today. But later, future, uh, in the future of this channel, we will be opening a Roaring Skies box, and you'll see exactly how that goes. But I'm so glad we opened this Ancient Origins box, and I called it! Oh, your boy called it. But that probably means no Lugia. Because the full art ratio is probably... No, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, it's probably not. I still could pull a Lugia full art. That would be... Oh, that would make this the best box in the world ever on the history of this planet. Actually, no. If it had, like, a breakthrough error or something in this actual box, this Ancient Origin box, like, let's say a couple breakthrough, like, cards were to have been snuck in to the sets on accident... And, like, there was a whole pack of just, like, Mewtwo's, Rayquazas, and Lugias. I think I'd be happy. I think that would be the coolest thing in the world. I'd probably only get, like, 100 views on it. Because, you know, YouTube doesn't like small channels. And YouTube doesn't like to promote channels who put out decent content. But, still be the coolest thing, whoever saw it. Spinarak, Porygon, Sableye. Just being real with you guys. Just being real with you guys. You gotta put out content every day for YouTube to actually recommend your stuff, which is kind of... <sighs> I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll be back. Anyway, a Golet, Larvesta, Porygon, Persian, Eevee, Jolteon Reverse, and a Vile Plume, which is either banned, broken, or not in rotation anymore. So I'm not going to freak out about that at all. And we're still hoping for the Lugia Full Art. Uh, that would be amazing. Why don't these packs just open nicer? Come on. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, then. We haven't seen anything fantabulistic in a while. So, one, two, three, Magikarp, Golet, Larvesta, Malamar, Gardevoir, Reverse, and an Entei. Non-Hollow Rare. As we move on to the last five packs of Ancient Origins. And, guys, I... I, I know I've been saying this a lot, I've been pandering to you guys a lot, but the fact is, man, I would be nothing without you, man. So thank you guys so much for what you do. Thanks for everyone liking my videos. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my last video, or in my video before the giveaway, we got up to 40 likes, which was insanity. Absolute insanity. I was so happy to see that. And YouTube still didn't recommend it. And we got to 40 likes before even 100 people watched the video, so... If there's nothing you guys could have done, there's nothing I could have done, there's nothing anyone could have really done. You guys are amazing, and I'm so happy just to have the viewership I do. Uh, whether 100 people watch it or 100,000 people watch it, it really doesn't matter to me. As long as you guys enjoyed yourself while you were here, as long as I could have put a smile on your face or something, that's all that really matters to me. We have a Persian, an Eevee, a Cottony, a Baltoy, a Wooper, an NK Reverse, and... A okay, alright, that's still awesome, that's still awesome, not... The Lugia Full Art, but a Lugia EX. Wow. That, you know what? That's actually probably one of my favorite EXs, too. Just the art itself is beautiful. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. Hello, Lugia. You can come on back here. We're going to do a recap. You're going to be there, too. Don't you worry. All righty. Yeah. One, two, three. And I actually did enjoy throwing the back three to four cards off at the end of these packs here. This did make it go a whole lot faster than it could have. Larvesta, Machamp, EX. So the EXs are coming towards the end here. We have two more packs left. Hopefully this is a little uh, a little spoiler for what's going to happen in a second. Oh, no, let's not put you behind. Let's put you behind Lugia because Lugia is the awesomeness. One, two, three. Oddish, Inkay, Golurk, Porygon, Relicanth, Golette, and a Golurk, non-hollow rare ancient trait. On to the last pack of Ancient Origins, and guys, before we open this bad boy here, I just wanted to say, <laughs> of course, thank you one more time. 
you guys for making this thousand subscribers special possible. I did not think the channel would grow this fast, and I did not think we'd be here so soon. So, guys, seriously, just keep stay the amazing people you've always been. Seriously, you guys have always been the coolest fan base I've ever seen in my life. So positive, so amazing. I just I love you guys, man. I really do. You guys are really awesome. And a Porygon Z. But, guys, we have a little recap to do. Let me get this all cleaned up. Ninja recap and guys I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video It means a lot to me. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed the ancient origins burning shadows and guardians rising booster boxes Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what your favorite pool was Let me know what you guys feel about shining legends. That's coming out in English I cannot wait for that set to come out plan to grab a bunch of Japanese booster boxes of that and Definitely a lot of English now, but I mean I, I plan on opening a lot of both when when I get back um, That's that set is absolutely gorgeous my personal favorite card in that has to be the Mew by default actually no you know what I'd have to say that it's the secret rare Mew too because there hasn't been anything like that even the GX is beautiful too um, but the shining Mew is great shining Lugia is great uh, the Ho-Oh is really nice everything in that set really everything just does it for me it's just a really great looking set Sun and Moon is really putting out some amazing art and I'm, I'm really excited to see what else they do with this this series here but anyway guys um, I just wanted to say we made it to this point and I've told you a bunch of different reasons why we need to take this break I'm coming back with a co-host. She's very important to me, and I know you guys will enjoy her too. I want different software to be able to do all the editing on. I have thousands of cards to sort. I want to bring you guys better content as a result of getting all of this done. You guys have made this my life. Never thought I'd be somewhere like this in life, and if I could thank all of you individually, I would. And it is possible. Don't forget that the comment section below is an extension of this video, and I'd love to talk to you guys about anything. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and talk to me whenever you wish. Links to everything will be in the description. I'm not disappearing, guys. I may even release a video here and there to update you guys. The latest I'd like to come back, though, is November 1st. I feel like that would give me enough time to get whatever I need done, done. So don't forget to like this video if you had any fun on the channel and because you're all the best. And share this video if at all possible. Head over to Twitter and help me get this out there. Shout out to the Twitter fam. But until next time, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Love what you do. And until we meet again... Keep it clutch.